Hello everyone. Today we go Samsung RV510 laptop. And we would know how to get into BIOS D2 upgrade the system. As you can see, Ubuntu is here. I would like to reinstall Windows 7, which is already loaded into my bootable Kingston 16 GB flash drive. All right, so I will show you how to get into BIOS and customize the boot option. All right, so first of all, press and hold the power button to shut it down or shut it down by program, right? Once it shut it down, I will turn on. At the same time, I'm gonna press F2, which is the basic system. All right, so as you can see, I'm on the BIOS panel already. So there are a few options. If I go to the left, it says about system information, like what type of processor, how much memory, RAM and ROM in there. Then advanced option, uh, yes, from here you can turn on battery life extension. Yeah, let's enable it. Okay, fan silence auto is fine. Legacy USB support, all right. So let's show you something here. You know, in most of the cases, what we do, we get into BIOS to customize the boot option, right? But let's say you give the priority here, which is right now, DVD drive, but I would like to get it from my Data Traveler USB thumb drive, okay? Let's say you choose the USB one, first of all, on the top, top of the list, but the problem is here from the advanced option for this model if the legacy USB support is disabled even if you choose the fast boot option is USB thumb drive still it wouldn't work okay so make sure these two options need to be enabled all right when it's enabled then it's good to go just go to boot option all right from here what you need to do is go to boot priority device from here what are you gonna do I'm gonna put USB HDD even it shows nothing in here but no problem still I would like to take it to the top of the list so I'm going to press F6 and as you can see this is going up. All right. Now now what I'm going to do I'm going to press F10 to save it and see what happened. The system is restarting. Let's check. The USB is connected. Check. Yeah. Here you go. All right, so that's the thing, you know, when they use Windows system on it and it's bootable, if you connect it, choose from here, from the, you know, boot priority devices. Even if you don't see the name on the list from the default menu, if you choose like USB HDD on the top of the list, and if you save the settings, restart it, it should boot up from the USB thumb drive. It depends your choice, all right? So that's all for today. If you have any comment regarding this model, make sure you leave a comment below. And if you like my video, like it. And if you kindly subscribe, that would be even better for me. Thank you so much. And hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.